what is a healthy human being? A healthy human being, um, it's the body, it's the mind, it's the emotion, it's the intellect, it's energy. We are, we are a package. If the physical body dies, then we die. If our emotional body dies, then we can't function. If any aspect of our humanity falls off, then we can't function as human beings. So we need to seek health in all areas uh, as we become more healthy. And part of the health is not to suppress dark energy, but to acknowledge it. This is called embracing the shadow. So for myself, in my experience, I was very afraid of many things. And it wasn't until I embraced that shadow and said, what is my fear? Why am I, why am I afraid? Uh, I realized I did not need to fear that my strength was within me. As my own strength developed, I began to attract higher and higher levels of consciousness. Some of these are alien consciousness. I know they're off planet. I know they're other dimensional. I know they're earthbound spirits. I know they are nature spirits. There are many levels of consciousness, and alien consciousness is one of those. If we can, without fear, accept the wisdom of uh, the alien experience, we may, in fact, improve our health. I do believe my own mind and consciousness has been expanded through resonating with uh, alien consciousness, through expanding my vision. One of my things that I do, I look at Google Earth, I turn it onto the star map, and I, I do star voyages out into those realms and my, my psyche and all aspects of my being, except my physical, go out there as well. So it's, we're energy explorers. When we resonate in ourselves authentically, you find your true self and you resonate outwards, you will find other energy explorers who are in alignment with you. And this is only a good thing. If you live in fear, that fear resonance will bring fearful beings to you. So there's a great deal of mind control that you need to practice on yourself. A dark alien energy would like to come in and take over uh, weak-minded people. Now, I don't mean to insult anybody by saying that they're weak-minded, but if, if you feel a bit vulnerable and you say, hey, yeah, I would like a little power, I'd like a little strength, and you don't ask where the strength comes from, then you may fall victim to these dark energies. And it is an insidious, downward spiral where you have less and less of your own personality and your own will until eventually, without help, you are basically in a cesspool. Generally those humans that uh, agree to these deals that aliens make, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be your spokesperson. Um, it's possible uh, for the human host to sicken and die. Honestly, the alien doesn't care. They just go on to somebody else. So you must be strong within yourself. You must find your authentic human self, your place of compassion, of your humanity, and call on beneficial aliens, angels, whatever your culture suggests to you. Call on, call on the good, call on the light, and then walk in that light, and you will, you will be safe, you will be strong. We experience personal power. When we are interacting with alien energy, other dimensional energy, sometimes there is a gift of power that comes through that. It, we may be told, hey, if you let me in, and if I can take over your mind and body, I will make you rich. I will make you powerful. I will make you beautiful. I will give these things to you. So some people may succumb to this temptation. Oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna take on this alien energy and I'm going to be successful. This uh, is what we call making a deal with the devil, that you may have a short-term gain through your dealings with powerful, non-beneficial energies, but in the end, you will be consumed by them. I see this many times with people who fall into the trap of ego. If you think the world is about you, you will fall into the trap of ego and you will take on energies, hitchhikers, if you will, that do not support you. Some of these hitchhikers, they could be alien energies. If you experience these dark energies, if you experience fear, if you know there are things there, the first and most important thing you can do is to try to let go of your fear and try to get to that place of compassion. And we know there is no try, there is only do. So find a place in yourself that is love. Remember your feeling of love in nature of your family of your child 
Remember a time where you felt and experienced love. If you can go into that place in yourself, you will conquer all the fear there is. And you will teach by being. You will heal yourself, those around you, and the planet and the aliens. Just experience yourself as pure love and you will change the world.